Hey there, future inventors. Welcome to an exciting journey where you'll learn to create something truly amazing with your own hands. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a simple robot step by step. Whether you're a complete beginner or have some experience, this guide is perfect for you. This is perfect if you're just getting started with robotics. It's a fun and educational project that will introduce you to the basics of electronics and programming. So let's dive right in and get our hands dirty. You'll need a few basic things. A small breadboard, which is essential for building and testing circuits without soldering. A microcontroller like an Arduino, which will act as the brain of your robot. Some jumper wires to make connections. A battery pack to power everything and two DC motors to give your robot mobility. Don't forget a screwdriver and some screws to hold everything together. These tools will help you assemble your robot securely. First, place your breadboard on a flat surface. This will be the foundation of your robot's circuitry. Next, take your microcontroller and carefully insert it into the breadboard. Make sure it's snug and secure, as this will ensure stable connections. Double check that the microcontroller is properly seated to avoid any loose connections. Now, grab your jumper wires. These will be used to connect different components on the breadboard. Connect one end of a wire to the microcontroller and the other end to the terminal on the motor. This will allow the microcontroller to control the motor. Repeat this for the second motor. Having two motors will give your robot the ability to move in different directions. This will give your robot the ability to move. Imagine the possibilities once your robot starts rolling around. It's time to give your robot some juice. The battery pack will provide the necessary power to run the motors and the microcontroller. Connect the battery pack to the microcontroller. Ensure that the positive and negative terminals are correctly aligned to avoid any short circuits. Double check that all connections are tight and secure. Loose connections can cause your robot to malfunction. Now, you'll need to write some basic code to get your robot moving. This is where the magic happens. Open your Arduino software and write a simple program to control the motors. You can find plenty of sample codes online to get you started. Once you're happy with your code, upload it to the microcontroller. This will transfer the instructions to your robot. Moment of truth. This is the exciting part where you see your hard work pay off. Turn on the power and watch your robot come to life. It's an incredible feeling to see something you've built start moving. If everything's connected correctly, your robot should start moving around. If not, don't worry. Troubleshooting is part of the learning process. If not, double check your connections and code. Sometimes a small mistake can cause issues, so take your time to review everything. This is where the fun really begins. Once your robot is moving, you can start customizing it to do more complex tasks. Try adding sensors or tweaking the code to make your robot smarter. You can add ultrasonic sensors to avoid obstacles or light sensors to follow a path. The possibilities are endless. With creativity and experimentation, you can build a robot that does amazing things. And there you have it, folks. You've just built your very own robot. It's a fantastic achievement and a great introduction to the world of robotics. You've just built your very own robot. Show it off to your friends and family. You deserve to be proud of your creation. Keep experimenting and don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's how you learn. Each mistake is a step closer to mastering robotics. Remember to like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Your support helps us create more content to inspire young inventors like you. See you next time, inventors. Keep building, keep learning, and most importantly, keep having fun.